Well, hello everyone. Welcome back to another episode of What the F with Sunny LaRue. I'm also known as a professional martini drinking blogger. We're back again. And in this episode, we're going to talk about yet another housewife. Okay. Who is facing serious charges, DUI and more. But before we get into it, you guys know what to do like share subscribe don't forget to click that notification bell so you you won't miss out on breaking news updates recaps and more it is the freest and easiest way to support the channel and if you like to follow me on social media by all means you can do that too my handle is at sunny larue 17 or simply google sunny larue 17 and all of my information will populate and you can follow me through those means now let's get into the story because chow it is a mess all right, guys, I don't know what's going on. I'm trying to mute everything and nothing is working. <laughs> so um, if you hear noise, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I got everything new. As you guys know, um, last Sunday was my birthday, March 17th, woo -woo, big 53. And so I took a week off and I know a lot of stuff was happening, but um like I said, I needed to break. Okay, now let's talk about this housewife because we've been talking a lot. Well, two things that we talk mostly on this channel, lawsuits and DUIs, right? So about six, seven, maybe almost eight months ago, we talked about um, Real Housewives of Orange County, uh, DUI, let me pull up her name. I should have been better prepared for you guys, but you know, it's, it's, it is what it is, right? It is what it is. Shannon Bedore. Okay. Um, she had a, um, a DUI. She was sentenced to three years probation, community service. And luckily she did not anyone on a live anyone or herself. Okay. And she paid for some property damage and she went into rehab and, um, and, um, got herself straightened out. Okay. Ah, I found the source of the noise. Yep. 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 There we go. Okay. And then we have Real Housewives of Atlanta, Cynthia Bailey's ex-husband, Peter Thomas, who we've talked about. He's like, Y'all fan favorite out there. Um, we talked about his D DUI where he was busted with no license, uh, 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 expired license, tags expired, and insurance ex expired. And I said if he was here in California, he wouldn't have been able to get on no plane because he would have been thumped to shame. Okay? But I'll leave a link to that video in the description box for you. And now we have another housewife driving behind the wheel, intoxicated. And that are that is our own Grandom herself. Not the Grandom. Karen Huger of Real Housewife of Potomac. Now, honestly, she's one of my favorites of all the housewives, okay? And so I'm like. Why her? Why her of all people, right? Well, according to TMZ, and you know, TMZ be out in those streets, and I don't know how any of these celebrities, especially the Bravo celebrities and stuff, how y'all be out there drinking and driving and stuff, when you know TMZ is with the long camera lens, right? And they zooming in on you. I mean, with anything, you would think that you would act right. But according to TMZ, this happened all last night or over the last couple of days. Real Housewife of Potomac star Karen Huger charged with DUI in connection to crash. Okay. It goes on to say, Karen Huger has been charged with driving under the influence and hit with several other traffic violations in connection with her car crash this week. 
according to online court records. Now, let me tell you something, y'all. Let me tell you guys something. Let me, let's talk about this. TMZ, be, they have people that sit at a desk and just through court cases and court on documents and court online and stuff. And they come up with stuff. That's how they, that's why they're TMZ. And that's why we live by it. The, H, uh, the RHOP star is facing one count of DUI over Tuesday's night threat, which notes she has to make a mandatory court appearance to answer for it. She's facing an additional DWI charge as well. There are several other alleged infractions she's been dealing with too. Per the docket, 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 you go into court. That touch on everything from ne negligent and reckless driving to driving way over the speed limit. Really, Karen? And driving with the suspended registry. What? What? She's a grand dame. What are you doing driving with registration with no registration? What are you took a, a page out of Peter Thomas book over there? Girl, you got people working for you. You, you tell Ray to get his old ass up and get over there and, and get on the registration. <sighs> the sixth traffic violation she was cited for uh, don't require a court appearance and have fines ranging from fifty to five hundred and ten dollars. Now let's let me just say this because if she was here in California, <laughs> oh, no. those fines would not be fifty to $510. No, no, no. They will be tripled. Okay. So you're looking at between 500 to $5,000 on top of all the other taxes and shelters and all that kind of stuff. She lucky she ain't here in California. <clears throat> we broke the story. TMZ broke the story because y'all want a TMZ. Huger was driving her 2017 Maserati. Um, 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 oh, um, um, I'm having hot flashes here, y'all. Yes, I'm having hot flashes. And let me tell you why she's having hot flashes. You got a 2017 Maserati and you got suspended or um, registration on that. She was driving her Maserati. She Probably arguing with Ray Tuesday night, allegedly, those are my words, Tuesday night in uh, Pontiac, Maryland, in, in what police describe as an aggressive manner. So she was like swerving in and out, dodging, you know, because you can do that in a Maserati. Well, you shouldn't do that in a Maserati, but people have been known to do that. Cops told us Karen struck a medium and a crosswalk sign at an intersection before continuing on and colliding with a park sign off the roadway. The car itself was badly damaged, but Karen told us she's doing fine after the incident. She speaks, and we're gonna talk about that in a minute, which she chalked up to driving while in a super emotional state. Okay, let's talk about that. According to Ms. Karen, Ms. Grandom, well, first, let me sip on it, let me sip on it. <laughs> She went to dinner, a late dinner, allegedly, this is according to Karen, with a friend. They were having drinks, they were having a good conversation, the conversation turned emotional, and she left the restaurant in an emotional state, thinking about her mother who passed away, and if you watch the show, she, she was very tight with her mother, and so forth and so on, okay? So Huger says she went to dinner, well, I'll just explain that to you, where the two talked about some pretty emotional topics, including her deceased mother, saying it left her bawling while trying to drive home. And she says she swerved to avoid an oncoming car directly at her. My thing is this, and it goes on, it goes on. Let's see, it goes on, it goes on. Um, so Montgomery County P PD says the reason the reason uh, charges weren't mentioned earlier Wednesday is because all that was available at the time was a preliminary collision report and that a police report would 
at further information. We have obtained the police report yet, but clearly cops felt something criminal had happened here. Evidential is in the court updates. We reach out. So she have no word. Okay. So yeah. Now with all of this technology going on, you can have a driver, you can have Uber, you can have one of those autonomous Rolo cars, Robocop cars, Robo cars. There's a Lyft, who else? There's taxis, there's your friend, you know, call up Giselle, call up Candace, call up Dr. Wendy. You ain't gotta be behind the wheel of a car. If you're that emotional, and honey, I get it. I understand it. Um, being in the club of, of losing a, a parent, right? You do get emotional if you're, especially whatever relationship you have with your parent and you're thinking about them and you're talking about them. It is emotional. We get that. But you could have unalived yourself. You could have unalived somebody else. And the bottom line is these Bravo celebrities are just getting away with, with these types of behavior. Now look, I'm not here to judge Karen, okay? I'm not here to judge Shannon. And well, I am here to judge Peter Thomas because we're gonna be talking about him in another uh, video because he, he's the one thing that keeps, keeps giving, the gift that keeps on giving. He's the Energizer Bunny that keeps on going. But I'm just gonna say this. Karen, thank God you're okay. Thank God you didn't do any, you know, you didn't life anyone. It's just property damage. Most likely she will get the same thing that Shannon gets. Um, have to go to some rehab and get help, go through the program and be on probation for what, two or three years, and then all will be well. But what's gonna happen is them Green Eye Bandits, meaning Giselle, Jizzy, Jazzy, Giselle, and Boring Ass Robin. Like, girl, even with Karen's DUI, you ain't got nothing to say. Because uh, Juan situation trumps Karen's DUI, Robin. And I know you're going to try to come at the Grand Dom. NECA, sit down with your wacky dooey crazy self. All y'all just need to cyst and deceased okay stand down and sit down and do not come after the grand dame she made a mistake she was emotional i get it but grand next time pick up the phone call your assistant and say hey it's been an emotional day i need help can you come and get me? Can you send me a car? I mean, you're the grand dog. You got the money for that, girl. You didn't need to drive that Maserati home in the condition that you were in, and you did not need to make a statement. I don't know what kind of publicity you got, but if I was your, I'd be like, you need to just be quiet. We're gonna deal with this. We're gonna do what the attorneys tell us to do. And then when we get a handle on this, then we will be making a statement. Until then, you that's just me i'm talking but enough of that what do you guys think of this story do you even care about the ground down getting busted for dui and y'all you make all this money on bravo you make close to five a half million dollars contract go and register your freaking car and stop it with this Anyway, you guys let me know down there in the conversation box what you guys think of this story. And as always, I have more stories to bring to you, so I'm going to get back at it. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.